Ta-da! There you go. Hey guys. Yep, we're working back again on the suspension. As you can see, we're tidying things up, cleaning as much as we can as we go. This is the latest thing that I've pulled. I think this is what they call it, the tie rod end link connection, which sits basically between this and that. So this is the tie rod and this is where it fits. Let me show you how it looks fully installed. And then you'll know what I'm talking about. Check it out. Let's just bring some light. So this is the tie rod. This is the piece that I'm after. Can you see it? Yeah, so it has a bushing and it has some rubber pieces at the bottom. And if we go over there just to see what I'm dealing with, it's old and it's definitely need working. So yep, there it is. This is the bushing and it's dry. This sits here. And this is the part. See? So I already have got this one. What I don't have, those. Those rubber things in between. I've already ordered them and hopefully I've got the right ones. But meanwhile, this definitely needs cleaning. Not only that, uh, if you look, this is the tie rod. There is a rubber, piece of rubber over here as well, or a bushing or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, two in each side. Well, two in total, one on each side. So I need to loosen this one up and get it out. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it today, or at least that's the plan. I'll get it out because I need to clean this one in order to install the bushing over here. And since I'm replacing this one, I figured I might as well just open it up. If I can, hopefully. Okay, proceed from there. Okay, tie rod, no more. I removed it. Let me just show you how it looks like. Ta-da, there it is. And this is the bushing that I need to replace. Basically all this drama on just so that I can reach this one. Wow, okay. And this is how it sits. You see how the bushing is hooked up like this way, whilst the other one, if you look at it, it's in the opposite way. And even the shape, if you look at the shape, it's contoured, taking into account the exhaust and all the components in the back of the car. Oh, cool. I need to wash this one, clean them both, and if painting is required, then painting shall be done. Check it out. We cleaned it up, sanded it from all the rust, and painted it matte black so it looks gorgeous and looks clean. We've also got some parts. Well, we've already had this one from before, so this is the bushings that goes here, basically. And we were missing on the bushings that basically attach to this one. And this is how they look now. So these are the bushings that you need. And this is the part number in case you're interested. Now, since we're assembling this one, I figured might as well just do the upper control arm because I've already got the bushings for it. It's already been painted. Everything about it is perfect. And the knuckle itself is already also the ball joint, the lower ball joint has already been replaced. And I figured might as well just put it. The only missing part is the bushing for the sway bar, which is this one. This is the piece that I need to replace. Now, it's not in bad shape, but I've already started the project, so I figured I might as well just replace it. Even the clips, they're cleaned, they're painted and all. I've ordered the parts, but what happened is they couldn't deliver, so they refunded me. I ended up buying another one, and hopefully in a week time, I'll get it. Maybe you'll see them in the same video, you never know. But meanwhile, I'll assemble everything that I need to do. How this work, it's basically easy. This one does not come with any lube whatsoever. So this is basically all what you need to do is just put them in and you're good to go.
This one on the other hand, which is the piece that goes over here, it comes with a lube. So I'm gonna use this lube to ensure that the metal piece gets inside. Everything about it is lubed up incorrectly. And I'll use the same lube to lube this as well and those over there. I'll get to it one step at a time, but this one is basically fairly easy. Take the old, clean, paint, put the new, and put it back. It's just that easy. This one, cleaned up. We put the bushings, so there they are. You put this one first, the rubber itself first, then you put the metal thingy inside of it. Now that metal thingy, basically where this bolt gets in or through, better yet. That's it. Let me show you how it's gonna look like when it's all done, okay? Okay, that was fairly easy. See, like I said, guys, what you need to do first is to grease it up, put the actual uh, rubber piece. Once you do that, grease the metal thing and insert it inside. Basically, that's how it should be. And as for the other part, that's fairly easy. Just line them up and put them in. That's it. Again, these are the parts. I'll show you. There's the part number, and this is the other one. In terms of the upper ball joint, this is the part number that we're using, and it's fairly easy. This is the piece, basically, that we're gonna work on. See, this is the rubber thing, or the bushing itself, that needs to go inside. Again, it needs to be lubed up. Now, when you lube it up, you just need to put some lube over here, or the grease, and you put some in the inside as well. Uh, over here, insert it. Once you do that, then you need to insert this metal rod in and you'll have washers at each side that goes here and goes on the other side then you can put this line it up here then put the bolt it's fairly easy let me tidy this up and i'll show you how it's going to look like once it's done all right guys we've done it there you go and like i said look at it see now you understand what I'm talking about. The bush goes inside, the middle piece goes inside of it, lube it up, put the washers on both sides in each end. I gotta uh, tell you something. If you don't have a vise or a grip, it's gonna be a little bit problematic for you. It's gonna take some time. I use the heat gun just to heat up the bushing just a bit. Keep in mind, I kept a good distance because you don't want to ruin the bushing before you even install them. And I used it up uh, with a lube and everything. As much as you can, lube it up, please do, because as you put them in, it's like, no pun intended, it's tight fit, okay? So whatever lube that you're gonna put, it's gonna ooze out from the other end. So that's why do your best to do that. And whatever the leftover that I had, I made sure to uh, smear it all over it. So now basically it is ready, and this is the upper control arm with the new bushing, with the new ball joint and everything. We just need to put it in. Remember the bolts that we still got, the nuts, they're still in the trunk. We just need to line it up, put it up, and just screw it up. As for the rest, there you go. They're all ready to be placed. I'm just gonna put them in. So it's exactly the same way that we got them out. We just need to put them in back in. That's it, easy. Let me put them in, and I'll show you how it's gonna look like once it's all done. Okay, showing you the progress so far. Yep, upper control arm installed properly through the holes all the way to the back. Somewhere here, two bolts sorted out. Uh, sway bar, there you go. I just need to put the cap and the actual bush for that. But if you can see, it's installed. This is the end link. And these are the bushings installed properly all painted and cleaned up as much as I can but sadly scratches as you try to fit it in uh, same side uh, the other side pretty much the same process it's a bit tedious if you have someone else to help you to do the job that would be way much better but definitely can be done as a one-man job uh, next thing will be this knuckle I need to put it back into place it's gonna sit into two places you've got over here this is where the lower con uh, ball joint is gonna sit in and this is for the steering wheel I guess now mind you this one is actually good I don't need to replace it and 
it's gonna sit on top over here so three areas that's gonna connect and after that yep you're done easy check it out yep installed connected and even painted and it works just fine no sand no crap no nothing and see look at the back uh, let me just get you some light there you go properly installed with all the bushings and everything the next phase will be putting a new rotor update the brakes install them properly and basically this side is done whatever we've done over here we kind of need to do it three more times one in each side oh boy but you got the gist it's just a long process but it's not that hard not bad huh not bad at all sweet hey 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 it's the next day for, you, for me for you guys probably the same video I got some tools I've got some parts and we need to install some things finally we got the leather boot for the gear this is what we originally have you can see the rips tears and you can see the dirt and gunk that has been piled up for the past god knows how long and even the leather itself it's dry so it's due for a change this is the console so this one goes on top of that one and both of them they fit from under there you go and this is the gear knob as well i painted it red just to match the stitches and it's gonna look good also we got the rear rotors and brakes and the sway bar bushing sadly they said it's gonna take easy a month to get them so i had to cancel that order but these are the ones that i already have i managed to clean them up and they turned up to be all right i mean mind you it's not completely clean but it's not dry there is no tears in it all what i need to do is just grease it up and it's good to go so here's what i'm gonna do we're gonna put this one back we're gonna replace with this one now to replace this one there's a trick you see this plastic piece you need to remove it from over here and install it over here you might need to put some glue or something or some people on um, facebook said that they used an o-ring it's just like a rubber thing that you can tie it up from the bottom because at the end of the day you've got something here at the bottom like you've got a an excess lever per se that you can use it ah uh, you got the point uh, or you can just use a zip tie so probably the best jdm process is to use a zip tie and just zip it up so this piece to be installed over here so that the gear knob itself these can attach to it and this is how it's gonna look like sick anyways let's get on with that before we do i thought to show you something let me introduce you to this little fella hi there how are you can you see this little praying mantis decided to come into my place probably pray how you doing my friend that's a big one like this is how much we're talking about yep well praying mantis pray that we can fix our car see ya buddy sure enough the JDM way they use the zip tie so as you fold it out you'll be able to see where the groove where the zip tie basically zipped get it out and you should be able to release it and there it is see no glue no nothing just zip tie and it doesn't go anywhere basically stick and look how it sits and from the back there you go all what I need to do is just install this back then put the gear knob on top and we're good to go sweet ta-da there you go properly installed shifts normal no slack no nothing the leather boot is just perfect 
the console is painted this one is painted handbrake everything everything back in its original place as it should be and man it looks good check it out damn okay guys installed I'll show you some light there you go greased up installed and perfect and this whole assembly is getting even better as we go time to put some rotors let me show you what we got versus what we bought this is the original one that came with the car check the brake out i mean you still got some in it but hold on to that let's just put it like this and this is the new one see how thick that's a difference and there you go lining up next to each other you can clearly tell the difference and this is the other one see how it's just and mind you if you look at it carefully you'll notice that it's actually not straight which means alignment issues brand new one and we want with the Bosch this is the rotor that we have don't worry about the rust rust is not the issue rust is not the issue if you put your finger over here and just lining up you can see and feel the groove there's a groove over here this is from the brake being basically like that see so what happened is as you keep pressing the brakes and all over time this area gets basically eaten and that's why you have a groove now because this is way too rusty and yep it's fugly hence we decided to go with this one brand new now normally when you install them keep in mind as you open it you can see some condensation here and whatnot this is because this one is already lubed up with some sort of an oil to protect it so that it wouldn't rust so normally when you install this one you need to get it out use brake cleaner clean it up because you need to remove all the oil residue from here i'm not doing that yet because i'm not driving the car once i replace them now if I cleaned it up and just put it on the car, what will happen is over time it's gonna rust. Why? Because that's metal at the end of the day and it's gonna have a surface rust. It's not gonna be a big deal anyways. But what I was thinking, I'm just gonna install it in the car as is. Once I decide it's time for me to drive the car, I'm just gonna get it out, brake cleaner, clean it up. That way I'm trying to protect it as much as I can. That's all, that's it. It's just how we got this one out. We just need to reverse it and put this one in. That's it. Let me do it and I'll show you how it's going to look like once it's done. Okay? Well, things got out of control. Good and bad. Let's start with the good. Installed. With screws and pretty much the whole shebang. Brakes fit. Everything is fine. One tiny little problem. Let's just show you what I'm talking about. You guessed it? Yep. We broke the caliper. This is the caliper. And this is the piece that got broken. I was trying to push the piston so that I can put it back. And let's just say it wouldn't budge to a point where it just broke the caliper. That puts us in a standing halt, basically, because now we need to change this little fella. Oh well, at least the rotor is shiny. Yeah, you can't have everything. I mean, what do you expect from a 30-something years old card? Things bound to happen. That's gonna run me down hefty figure. Anyways, I'm just gonna stop for now because I kind of need to clear my mind Until next time guys. I'll see you. You take care and be safe. Okay? Yeah